और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे बुखारी साहब की गांड फट गई वॉस गोइन ऑन टॉक्स गेमर्स टुडे वी गॉट टॉक अबाउट दिस मोंकी सिचुएशन ओके वी हैव द मोंकी सिचुएशन वी हैव द गे बीबीसी सैमराइज सिचुएशन वी गॉट द स्टार वॉर सिचुएशन राइट एंड दिस सेक इज ट्राइड सो हार्ड टू कैंसल द you know the monkey game that ultimately and sadly and apparently it backfired with concord now having more pronouns than the actual player count than the player count right i mean you gotta go when you gotta go you gotta go bro like the video if you think they're two genders dislike the video if you think they're five thousand genders okay we're gonna get into the story guys because we got another one okay we got another game on the list Shout out to the homie Doctor Disaster. Roll it. And Wait for the it. review embargo for Star Wars Outlaws has been lifted, and the full reviews of the game are pouring in right now. And the critics seem to be ripping this game a new one. Take Love this it. quote directly from the IGN review as an example. It's less bad batch and more basic bitch. <laughs> oh. IGN What? really seemed to rip this game to shreds, but despite all that, they gave Star Wars Outlaws a seven out of ten because of. Of course, of course, man. If IGN ever gives a game seven out of ten, that means it's trash. I mean, you cannot spell ignorant without saying IGN. These seconds also gave. Dustborn, the worst game of all time. I'm not even talking about like woke or anti woke or this and that, non woke, woke, this and that. Okay, not even talking about that. Objectively, Dustborn, right? That is raging wildfires right now, even more so than the gay BBC Samurai situation, right? And, and, and yeah, bro, like that game isn't a 7 out of 10. And IGN gave it a 7 out of 10 to Dustborn. This suck is crazy, bro. This suck is crazy, man. Like, holy crap. Of course they did. Because if a game is made by their corporate masters at Ubisoft and Disney, that was hardly even a 2 out of 10, bro. Then IGN has to tell you that you should play it, or they will lose access. That's the game that they play, and we all know it. As evidence of this, the IGN review has already been ratioed after only a few hours. Gamers are ripping this thing apart. Star Wars. Toxic gamers! And Star Wars, uh, admittedly, it's like 3 or 4, right? So far, based off of the gameplay that we've seen. Is going to flop just like Skull and Bones earlier this year because people are tired of the generic Ubisoft open world bullshit they keep pumping out for ridiculous prices. Slapping a feminist cat lady hag from Disney Star Wars onto the game's veneer isn't going to change anything. In fact, considering how unpopular Star Wars is nowadays, this will likely drive many people away. Yeah! You ever had a childless cat lady before? <laughs> I can't say that I have. Well then, sugar, you haven't lived. Note to self, I don't want to live. Whoa, 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 tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo, man. He gonna be dancing. Yeah, brother love dancing, though. Brother love dancing, though. But anyhow, Ubisoft is in a very bad place right now, and they are really banking on Wait, Star friend. Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows to turn things around. They yeah. have spent more money on marketing for Star Wars Outlaws than on any other title in the history of the company, and it's still... I mean, these suckers are so crazy that they ultimately had to send YouTubers uh, to Disneyland because apparently those suckers were not enjoying their game. <laughs> So, okay, now, plot plot twist, okay? Plot twist. This is what we heard a couple of weeks ago that apparently Ubisoft invited a bunch of YouTubers and wait, there is more. We got a lot more, right? But apparently Ubisoft invited a bunch of YouTubers and instead of just letting them play the game, these suckers knew the game was so bad that they had to send them to Disneyland, right? I believe Disneyland or Disney World. I, I always mix up between these two. Let me know, like, because there is one in California. So yeah, they send them to the California. Either we have Disneyland there or Disney World. I'm not sure. There's one in Florida. There's one in uh, California, right? I'm mixing it up, but they send them to the Disney World or land that is in California, right? Because the game is so bad that they were like, okay, bro, go there. Okay, fire dopamine, and then come back when you're, like, in a very good mood. That's when you should pick up the controller and play our game, because if you uh, just pick up the controller and play our game, You're 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 probably gonna be <laughs> you're probably gonna be looking like this man. You're 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 gonna be like this guy, and this is gonna be us, right? This is gonna be Ubisoft, and gamers will be like, "I right, bro, you gotta go, okay? <laughs> you gotta go." And ever since we have uh, you know seen the gameplay, man, suckers have been ripping them a new one. And right now, even IGN is kind of saying, quote unquote, right, like give or take, that hey, the game is kind of bad, but we'll give it seven out of ten, guys. We'll give it seven out of ten. We'll give... That that's what's going on man and in urdu real quick man are bukhari saab inke apna pakode band karao warna maine na chatti ka doodh yaad la dena bhans bhans chor these seconds are crazy i swear to god like these seconds are the same people that says the game is trash but they still give the game 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 it means that it's a good game 5 means it's average 5 means it's mid 
out of 10, right? It doesn't mean that it's the best game ever. It doesn't mean it's the worst game ever. It means that it's mint. It's all right. It's average. That's what it means, okay? Five out of 10 is not the worst game either. Seven is good. It is amazing. Nine is, oh my God, I can, I have never seen a game like that. 10 out of 10, masterpiece. 10 out of 10 means masterpiece and there is literally zero room for improvement. That's, that's what 10 out of 10 means. Now, of course, subjectively, you can always give the games you like 10 out of 10 as well. But objectively, I mean, sometimes a, a game that is objectively a five can be 10 out of 10 subjectively for some people. That's perfectly fine though, right? For, for example, right, objectively, Dustborn is hardly even a 2, but somewhere, someone is probably thinking it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. I mean, IGN thinks it's 7 out of 10, uh, 7 out of 10, but they're being objective about it, right? Get mama with that, bruh hasn't translated into investors coming back to the company. Last month, the stock price dropped precipitously for Ubisoft after the shareholder call in which the shareholders grilled the CEO about the video clips of Star Wars Outlaws that had been circulating the internet and which looked like shit. The CEO had no good answers for their concerns yeah. and immediately after, the stock price tumbled. Meanwhile, the Ubisoft game... Uh, yeah, the Eve Gilmore, right? He was saying that players, our players are very, very happy about the game launching this uh september okay when is the game launching is it launching in september or something like that i don't know man when is the game coming <laughs> I don't even know when the game is coming out. Skull let and me, Bones, let me which they brag was the first quadruple A game, yeah. just hit Steam the other day, and they only had about 2,600 players playing it concurrently at Bumbleclad, brother. Bumbleclad. At its peak. Granted, this isn't as bad as Concord or Dustborn yeah. or anything like that, but it sure as hell has to be disappointing considering how much money Ubisoft pumps into their projects. And keep in mind that Skull and Bones, which is about a half a year old, has been marked down 60% on Steam, down to 24 bucks, which is naturally driving some people to finally cave in and try it out damn i thought that a quadruple a game would be selling for a hundred dollars man <laughs> what what yo this second yo this thing is launching star wars outlaw in like what like i, I like four days from now damn damn oh, august the 30th so almost september but uh, yeah so eve gilmore was like our game is releasing uh, by the end of uh, august uh, 30, uh, 30 2024 and players are gonna be very very high happy with that Nah, man, nobody happy with that game, bruh. And the ultimate peak uh, for this game, uh, okay, all-time peak, 2615. Okay, so that was like 21 hours ago. I'm not sure when this screenshot was taken exactly. Okay, August 26th, it says, so it's the uh, latest one. Damn, that is crazy, bruh. Bro. That is crazy. Out any way you slice it, and this title is an unmitigated catastrophe. And that is what you can expect out of Star Wars Outlaws. It will be a tepid, disappointing release. It may do a bit better than how Skull and Bones fared, just because it does have the Star Wars brand attached yeah. to it. That being said, I don't expect it to be that much better, because the brand is worth jack shit compared to what- Same goes for Assassin's Creed, right? Yeah, we had the, the gay BBC Samurai situation. These suckers always put black people in the game and make them gay, bro. Like, damn, this is crazy, man. They're being double racist. Like, they're being racist towards Asian people, right? They're also being racist towards the black people and also using LGTV people as shields in the game as well, right? Because they use a real life person, Yasuke, who was not gay and they ultimately made him gay. If he was, then it makes sense to make him. I said that a million times already. But yeah, so that game is going to be coming out in November. Star Wars is going to be one of those indicators. Now, of course, Star Wars and uh, Assassin's Creed, these are big franchises, okay? People know about them. These games are known worldwide. Uh, and it's gonna be really really interesting to see how they do now I do know that skull and bones also had a lot of hype behind it But ultimately it didn't have like that big of an audience a and gameplay looks like trash So people just didn't necessarily give a damn about it now same can be applied with Star Wars Like uh, what I'm seeing right now is that people don't necessarily give a damn about it But when you see the like and dislike ratio being like 50 50 that tells me that there are gonna be some suckers that are gonna be buying the game. They're gonna be sucking them dry, right? In Urdu, I'd like to say, so yeah that, that's what's going on right so star wars gameplay looking trash but there are some people that are probably gonna be like you know it's the best game ever it's the best, it's the best game ever but it's gonna be interesting to see now if star wars sells like crazy then it might be Joe Over, okay? 
but and the same can be applied the other way around right if it doesn't sell like crazy then it's joe over for ubisoft right what i mean by saying joe over for the gamers if it sells well what i mean by this is that if it sells well then it's joe over for kind of a little bit for the gamers because then they're gonna be toying around with the idea that hey, we need to make the games a lot more woke okay we gotta make them woke okay we we need that we need that okay <laughs> The legend is real. I found the big booty, Judy. You know, this is like those Concord uh, type operators, right? So then these suckers are definitely gonna try and have these types of operators in the games, uh, these types of characters in the game, if it turns out that Star Wars is selling like hotcakes, okay? I don't know if that would be true or not. Time will tell us for sure. But if it turns out that the sales are mid, then they're gonna really quickly realize that, okay, they need to turn the ship around what i mean by this is that they're gonna try next time this game is gonna flop right next time they're gonna try to make sure that they make the games for gamers okay because right now it's activists making the games for themselves they're not making the games for gamers that's where it's at right but it's gonna be also very interesting to see how like the the, the bbc samurai situation holds right how assassin's creed situation is gonna do or how assassin's creed game is gonna do because if these games do terrible then i think there's a chance in the future that we might get good games guys it's gonna get worse before it gets better but it's gonna get better though and the only way it's gonna get better is that if gamers unite and right now gamers are uniting okay so that's the biggest biggest w right now right like i've never seen gamers unite in the history of mankind ever gamers are the only species man i'm i'm gonna I'm be honest with you guys because if somebody's hating on a game there's another person just just sucking them dry even if a game if even if the game is the worst game of all time there would be somebody out there that would be defending them oh man it's fine you know day one patch is gonna shave the game day one patch is gonna save the game come on guys like man how many times like we've seen day one patch do jack right like it don't like come on man like stop defending these companies bro but right now what we're seeing is that gamers are uniting so that's a w now secondly that is if we vote with our wallets if you want the games being better for you if you think that you deserve better because i believe you deserve better i believe i deserve better we all deserve better like damn homie like look at this gameplay this is a uh, uh, this game came out if i'm not mistaken 2016 right 2016 uncharted 4 right sheesh man like ps4 original ps4 game uh, crazy insane man damn like uh, yeah this game is amazing bro it's a single player game we had really good games back in the days right naughty dog ultimately was uh slowly but surely was going in the direction of woke uh, uh original story is that uh nathan drake was supposed to have a kid uh, uh a boy right and they changed it nathan nathan drake uh not nathan drake i mean uh that 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 that, that twig right i'm forgetting that twig's name that is working at naughty dog right the director right so he changed it to him having a daughter i mean nothing wrong with that but but the reason they did it was the, the the part right and apparently emmy henning a woman okay she was behind writing stories for uncharted and great she made amazing games her stories was uh, were amazing not because uh, she was a man or a woman she was a woman but not because of her gender because she was actually talented and she was based and she just wanted her audience to care and she just wanted to make games good games for gamers that's what it comes down to it doesn't matter whether you're like lgtv straight or not straight or man or woman or black brown white purple this and that or or yeah it doesn't matter bro like nobody cares people just want good games that's what it comes down to but ultimately that's what they, 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 they are now changing all of the video games for themselves uh, it's the it's the act was making the games for themselves and, and gamers are not buying it so gotta vote with over, with over wallets man and star wars is coming out very very soon so uh, yeah if this game do amazing then it's kind of like joe over but if it does terrible then it's joe over for them but let's see what it once was wait lots of it. people actively avoid star wars stuff these days because they don't care for the direction of disney star wars that is why the acolyte crashed and burned so hard and got yeah. canceled but there are some people who have made it a part of their core identity to blindly love Disney Star Wars, and those people will of course buy this game. They likely won't play it much, but they will buy it. And that sounds like it's about Holy. the only thing Star Wars Outlaws has going for it. Damn, all of this is Star Wars gameplay, look at that bro, it looks worse than PlayStation 3 graphics bro. Like damn man, like 2016 we had this gameplay. Crazy man. Like gaming ultimately, like forget the woke stuff, or uh, the no, no woke stuff, woke stuff objectively like the game's quality is like deteriorating like holy crap like it's deteriorating in front of our very own eyes 
If you look at IGN's review, it says here, Star Wars Outlaws is a fun, intergalactic heist adventure with great exploration, but it's hindered by simple stealth, repetitive combat, and a few too many bugs at launch. So yeah. <laughs> Just never mind the terrible gameplay and the horrible bugs. Y'all should love it because it's Look Star Wars and because we inexplicably gave it a 7 of 10. It's Damn. unreal that it's only rated one point below Black Myth Wukong, which yeah. they gave an 8 out of 10. But as I said at the top of the video, gamers are ripping this IGN review to shreds in the comment section because we all know the way this goes. Whenever a game comes out from a major publisher like Ubisoft... Games, uh, you know, had problems, got bugs, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not that good. Seven out of ten. And the monkey game got eight out of ten, right? Oh, lack of diversity. Uh, it, it was game rent or screen rent. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, screen rent. I think it was right. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, <laughs> I don't wanna like say was it game rent or screen rent. I, cause like I'm getting confused. I'm getting mixed up with both, right? But it was somebody. Let's just say that, right? They gave that monkey game 6 out of 10. Now, here's the thing, right? 6 out of 10, listen, man, I'm gonna be the last guy to criticize somebody's rating, okay? Because we're all different, and, you know, objectively, you can give one rating, subjectively, you can give another rating. And yeah, like, if you don't like the game, it's fair. It's fine. But see, those suckers gave... The only reason they gave Black Myth Wukong 6 out of 10 was because of lack of diversity. It doesn't have diversity. They wanted, like, what? Like, leave the monkey alone, man. Like, damn, the monkey don't need to be gay bro like damn the guy yeah they were like hey the game lacks diversity that's exactly what they meant they wanted the monkey being gay damn bro like okay in another game we can have like a character that's gay but like leave the monkey alone damn bro and it, this game also i don't even know what they're talking about bruh this game has a lot of diversity it got a lot of different kind of animals it even got like uh you know the, the mosquitoes the bugs and all that that are flying around right and my guy is literally a transformer he does transform into different animals and all that there's so much diverse uh, animals characters humanoid characters in the game but they were like lack of diversity bro lack of diversity that's why we're gonna give it six out of ten just ludicrous bro ludicrous which actually kind of sucks ign gives it a seven this guy said the power of one the power of two the power of seven and then this person wrote ign execute order seven everyone else again this score is sponsored by seven up three seven. things in life are certain death taxes and a seven from ign and then this dude wrote what this guy was saying and the rating it got doesn't correlate seems like he tore this game a new one and it still gets a seven sounds more like a five, five or six, six at best if i five or six what are you talking about bro like Okay, fair, like, uh, you know, five. Okay, if I didn't give it a five, then it would be understandable. But genuinely, though, it's like a three, four, though. You, you feel what I'm saying? Three or four, though. Okay, let's be generous. Let's actually put our differences aside. Let's give it a 3.5 out of 10. Yeah, let's put our differences aside, right? IGN gave this game a seven, then it's really a five. You get the picture. People can see right through these chuckleheads. They can't cover for this game. Every time a major video is released for Star Wars Outlaws by Ubisoft or one of their proxies like IGN, it gets ratioed right away because gamers and former Star Wars fans ain't yeah. having it. Y'all can keep mm -mm. your ugly hags that you've inserted into the Star Wars lore and we'll be fine over here continuing to play. Our Damn, look at that gameplay, bro. And I get it, like it's YouTube quality as well. I get that, I get that part, but still, I mean, this is also YouTube YouTube quality guys this is also youtube quality good textures uh good textures looks good no matter what unless you really like turn out the resolution to like 144 viewers or something like that right but look at that this game came out all the way back in 2016 all the way back in 2016 i can put uncharted 2 i can put like so many other games it doesn't even have to be a single player game the reason i uh, i have uncharted 4 here is because it's a single player game and star wars is also a single player game 2024 single player game star wars versus 2016 single player game uncharted 4 like damn what are we talking about i can uh, yeah some people will be like well uncharted uh, 4 was uh, uh you know uncharted 4 right what are we talking about this game came out in 2016 damn it 2016 eight years later we do have better processors we have better graphics card we the technology has advanced right it looks like that it has advanced but in a different way it looks like that it is advancing right like totally man it is advancing but it is advancing sideways though like sideways left to right right like this is it looks like that this is how the the the, the technology is right now 
Crazy times we're living in, man. I can even put Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2, that came out in 2009, 2010s, something like that. That game looks miles better than this 2024 hot garbage. Like, hot, tr this is hot trash. Our backlog and watching Ubisoft and Disney flounder. It is sincerely more entertaining than playing or watching any of the shit these companies put out these days. But I'm gonna leave it there. Drop some money. Guys, check out this video on the screen because these suckers are also trying to sue gamers. Yeah, I'm not sure if you saw this video or not. This is crazy, okay? Check out this video on the screen and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. You had some good news uh, about GTA 6 and we had some gameplay leaks, high leaks and all that, right? Check it out and I'll see you right there.